Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I've made another cube style box. I actually wanted to make one in five by seven. I tend to, if I ever make a card and I've made it faster than a six by six, then I try to, you know, change those measurements to make a five by seven version and vice versa. They're the two sizes that I really like and they're always well received on the channel. So I wanted to do this one in a five by seven. And then I thought, what about adding two more onto the back? So this is what you get and it looks brilliant. It all still folds up. So if you've made the six by six which I shared a couple of days ago and I'll link it up here then um, you can just add two more cubes to the back you've got room there all on the back to stamp your message as well but by adding those extras it just looks really cool and during the live because I made this show in the Facebook live I was going down the route of a quad cube card or something like that and then Mary who was in the chat she said what about a pentacube box card um, and that's what we've gone with everybody really liked the name so this is a pentacube box card in the five by seven so if you don't want to have the two at the back then if you can see get rid of them you just have that really cool effect and that's just the same as the triple cube which I shared a couple of days ago so this one is using the Make-A-Wish papers by Dovecraft and then today's card I'm going to be using the Craft Consortium Circus so let me show you how to make it okay so the stamps I've used is this one here it's gorgeous it's just such a big lovely style and this is by Apple Blossom and it's the Heartfelt, Mo Heartfelt Moments collection and I just stamped it and then cut it just you know fussy cut and the color I used for that one which works really well is the fuchsia it matched perfectly with this beautiful glitter card which is from B&M so I had another look at the packs of the you know the card that I had in that pack and I'm going to use this blue today so again if you've got the B&M B glitter card we someone said it was 199 for 12 I remember I bought it a while ago but it's lovely it's non-shared and it's just this is a really rich very royal kind of blue but the ocean blue is the ink color that I've yet chosen there to stamp that one and then there's another one that goes with it I just thought I'd show it it's very long but it's still beautiful it's that kind of script or brush writing um, again that's the birthday stamp set and that one's just the party for the sentiments I'm going to use this one for today's card which says ha um, nothing says happy birthday like a piece of folded card that's the woodware clear magic and it's the little things and then on the back of this one you can just see there uh, birthday girls just want to have fun and that again is by woodware and it's this one here and it's the one for the girls so those are all the stamps so I've gone ahead I've done all my mats and layers and I have done all these bits which I can talk about in more detail it's very straightforward and um, you know so many people have been sharing this on the group and um, it's just yeah it's a really really nice card to do and pretty quick as well so for the five by seven version you want a piece of cardstock that is ten and a half by seven okay and along the ten and a half inch side you're just going to score it two and a half five seven and a half and ten okay and then you want two strips of ten and a half by two and a half okay and along the ten and a half you're going to score again so two and a half five seven and a half and ten and you want two pieces and I'll tell you the mats and layer sizes while I'm here because then you can decide what ones you want so I've got these two longer pieces because I liked the plain inside here so that when it's displayed you see this the tops of it so these are two and a quarter by six and three quarters and I've got the two pieces then for the front two here and then obviously you'll want two for the back um, I'm going to have just plain, I'm going to stamp directly onto this card that I'm doing today because I'm out, well, I've got more of the blue but I didn't want to cut into a nice fresh piece just for this small bit. So you'll want four pieces that are two and a quarter by four and a quarter and then you'll want um, three pieces that are two by four in the pattern paper. All these measurements will be in my blog because one of these will be plain. For you to stamp your message or you might want to do two I've just got this um, this pattern here so again this is all from that circus and can you see it's got like a, a coating on the balloons that shine it looks really nice and then I've got 16 pieces of two and a quarter squared and then I've just done pattern paper to cover the squares so I, in this case I've only done eight so 16 yeah that are two and a quarter squared and they're going to cover all the tops the inside the bottom and the front 
but then I only want to do pattern paper on the front and on the inside here so I only need eight so I've got four in the balloon which is two by two and four in that same pattern print again which is two by two so I've stuck them already on top of each other I found okay so now you just want to fold and burnish all of your score lines Okay, so you'll have two pieces like this and then this piece here. So we'll put this together first. So I'm just going to pop my glue onto the side tab there. Fold this one over and then fold that on top. And then I like to fold it like so. So the, the join is now here on the right hand side. And that's the side that it's going to be on You know when we display it. So I'm going to always keep that join there, so that way you won't see any joins on the back and you won't have a join on that front piece, it'll be on this side so it's a lot less noticeable because that folded piece there, that tab, is facing on this, you know, is on this side so you don't see it. So again, you want to do that with these two here, so just a bit of glue on your tab, fold it in and fold that one over. Okay, so now we've got all these pieces. Now if you want to put your mat layers just as I said on the 6x6 version you might want to stick them in before you stick this together because if you look on this one here you've got these stuck inside and my join is down here so where's that so here I have this join right down at the bottom on the front so again you don't see it when you look inside so before you stick that down if you want to stick you know one in here and then one on the bottom you can you can do them now which I'll probably do actually before I stick it onto the, this piece but um, you can see there you know it's quite easy to do so I'm going to grab these ones here so I'm going to have the balloon on the front so I'm going to have just realize you want four of these <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I've got all these pieces so at the minute I've just done the triple so you just want to cut two more of them I'll put a little thing at the top to say you want four not two um, and I'll do that I'll grab that in a minute so yeah you want to do two more of these pieces and um, but lots of you will just want to do the triple anyway which looks really nice so, and again pop that one there and then these ones again patterned I'm going to go in the back here and then I've got these ones which are going to go on the tops and on the insides there okay like so so you're going to do that I'm going to go and get two more of these cut and do have two more of these but if you just want to do the triple we're then going to stick those now onto the bottom here and then we'll put our other mats and layers on here okay Okay, so now I've got my four pieces, so these are all ready to connect to this. So whether you've got the four or the two, it will still be the same. So again, I've got that join on the right hand side. So first of all, that one's the last one, that one's still drying a little bit. So you've got your join, you should have your join at the bottom here, front. This back one is where you're going to add your glue. And you're just going to stick it to the bottom corner of that panel. And then you'll do the same on that one and on the back. And just fold them up so you can see they sit, you can push them together if you're using a liquid glue and that way you know you're, it's going to fall down nicely but you're also keeping everything within that size and then flip it over and then just do the same. Okay so now you can open it up and they all drop down and you can see that wonderful effect that you get. Then you can just bring in these ones here so I'm going to stick the two with the balloons on the front panels here and then this one on the back and then the other one I'm going to leave blank and just stamp directly onto that in a moment and then these two pieces will go inside those back sections. Okay, so there is the card with all the mats and layers on it and I think it looks fantastic. So now it's just down to decoration. So I've cut the party and the happy birthday and I've got all these little pieces here which I'm going to decorate on the top. I love this one here with the show. I reckon I thought I had another one. No, and there's all the other bits there. Anyway, so they're all cut. For these, these are just my little kind of like um, tassels. I made these in one of my display cards and I'll link it if you want to see how to make them but literally you just cut a strip then you cut lots and lots of little um, 
you know, cut lines into it so you've got this tassel trim and then just roll it up and then I just kind of pull it apart and I'm going to stick that to the back. I've got my hot glue gun on there. Once I've stuck this down it's going to go behind the party and then that sticks out there and I think it looks really, really fun. So to attach this you just want to grab, it's easier for me to do it like this because everybody's going to have something different or you can use little circles and punch those together which I'll show you as well. Actually, I think the circles might be easier to show. So this could be squares as well, but you want them to be circles that are going to be small enough to go behind your sentiment. I'll do it differently for that one because obviously that's a lot smaller. But then just fold them in half. Um, also, you can do the way that I made it on the 6x6, okay? Because there's um, that's where I was going to do this strip way, but this is another fun way to do it. And you just fold it in half. Okay, and I've just put glue onto one half there, and you're going to put that so that the fold kind of runs through the centre of your piece there, because you're going to attach glue to that part and then stick it so it sits in the middle of your card. So again, if I put a little bit of glue on that one, and then with this one, you're going to stick it next to that one so it, it forms a circle shape again but then you've got these two pieces that lift up that you can then add your glue to and then put each side of that score line so I'm just going to hold that in place for a second so they grab okay so you can just see what I've done so now I'm going to add glue in there and then I can stick that you can see what I'm doing there either side of that score line just lie the whole thing flat then you can kind of see how high up you want it. I'm going to keep it about there anyway. And then when you open it up this will be able to rock and pop out but it's still attached because of the way that you've done those semicircles and it's the same way when I make the strip so um, yeah have a look if you if you know if you're new to this style check out the 6x6 version as well and it'll show you a slightly different way to do that and then I'm just going to add some hot glue to the edge there and then pop that there. Um, there. Obviously I'm adding a lot of dimension to this so I would recommend one of my box envelopes so I'll link them as well if not they'll be at the end of the tutorial because um, those are just so handy those box envelopes for when you do add dimension to the cards but if you're keeping everything pretty flat then it will fit into just a normal envelope or one of my bouncy envelopes. And then I'm going to stick all these down and then I'm going to stick this one down with the strip, so I'm just cutting a very, very thin strip that's going to fit behind that sentiment. And you don't have to score this, I'm just going to, so you're going to fold, have it, you know, it's about four inches long, so I'm just going to fold like so, like so, and then kind of push them together like this, roughly to the middle, and then fold them back you know onto themselves and then you can just trim you don't have to trim the edges off but it would just keep everything tidy like so but now we've got that same kind of thing if I move that that's the shape you want okay and then I'm going to add glue all to the front of this piece and stick that onto the sentiment again get it in the middle and then now all you need to do is add glue to these two pieces here and stick them again either side of that score line and it will give you this very very similar effect so you know if you just want to do something quick like that but it has to hide behind obviously those circles wouldn't hide behind this one and then I'm just going to go inside here I can see the score line just about I've lost it now let's just open that up there we go because I'm using the liquid glue I've got time to kind of wiggle it around you can do one half at a time. Once you get it in place, it will then pop out. You see there? So you can just see inside where it's stuck either side, but it means that when that comes into its 3D shape, the sentiments, you know, and the party there, they all just pop out in front of you. It looks really nice. So I'm just going to finish sticking these down and then we're done. Okay, and there's the finished card.
So I've got that lovely decoration on the top. You can put some Nouveau drops on there as well if you wanted to. But I, I love it. It just looks so good. And like I said, you know, you don't have to have the two at the back. So you would just have the triple cube effect. But that's the five by seven size. I really like it. I like with the, it's got that like taller tower in the in the centre there. So I'll just bring back that one again. Don't they look great together? Such fun, vibrant cards. So I will link up again the six by six triple cube that will be up here. I'll also link my floating pop box because that is this centerpiece on its own and I've cut an aperture in it and you can have things popping out just like the sentiments. So again, if you like that style, you might enjoy that card as well. And also if you haven't already, but if you click on my face and then if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. So thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon. Bye.